Welcome to the MSI channel where I try to resurrect an old MSI 8080 computer. Alright, so uh, while I'm waiting for the batteries, I th thought I'd do a couple calculations. Uh, I've got the uh, um, oscilloscope running on its calibrator. And uh, over here, um, let's see if I can get this to focus. Uh, you can see that the battery uh, that was originally called out uh, was rated at 1.8 amp hours, so 1800 milliamp hours. And the batteries I've uh, ordered are smaller than these, but have 300, I mean, uh, 3000 uh, amp hours, so uh, quite a bit more than the original batteries. Um, so I thought I'd measure how many hours I can expect out of this thing. And so I have the uh, uh, power supply set up. And, uh, oh, my camera is not going to work on this display. Oh, I guess it works on the top one. So I've got it at 12 volts running in as an external power. And I've got about uh, 300 milliamps at, uh, at 12 volts. And if I turn this down to around 8.1 volts, which is where those NICADs are going to be running, um, Nah, close enough. Uh, about 370 milliamps. Um, so we can use that. So if it's around 300, I've got 3,000. It should, should last about 10 hours, somewhere between 9 and 10 hours. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so the other thing we can take a look at is, is uh, this charging circuit. How much... Uh, how much charge is it going to be putting out? Now these were rated at 1.8, minor 3,000, so whatever charge was good for these is going to be under what I could uh, tolerate for my new batteries, but be curious to know what we can do here. Um, so the charge current is going to be whatever voltage appears across this 0.3 ohms, and whatever appears across that 3 ohms there is uh, going to be with this uh, differential uh, amplifier here, this, this, this transistor pair. So this is like one side of an op amp and the other side of an op amp. So uh, the one side of the op amp is connected to this node and the other one is going to be connected to the bottom node. And uh, uh, that is going to be uh, divided um, by this uh, resistive thing here. So whatever voltage we place here is going to be the same voltage here. That's the way this op amp is going to work. So we need to calculate what voltage we can expect here, and then we know what voltage we can expect here, and that'll tell us what voltage we have across the uh, 0.3 ohm resistor. So we have a uh, basically a 35k and a 1k. So that's basically uh, 1 divided by 36. Um, so 1 36th of this voltage and this voltage is from the bottom here, um, and we have a 6.2 volt Zener diode across here. So uh, there's an input voltage into this, and it's being regulated down to 6.2 volts, so that's a precision voltage. So we know we have uh, 6.2 volts across this uh, network, and so we can calculate what voltage we can have here. Let's say that we have this potentiometer set to midway, so we'll have 500 ohms here, and the rest is over here. So um, let's do that calculation. Okay, so this is what we have. We have a uh, uh, 34.8k, and if this 1k resistor sit halfway, we have 300, uh, 500 ohms on this side, 500 ohms on that side. Um, so we have. Uh, uh, 500 divided by uh, 34.8k plus 500 and sorry about my writing and then that's going to be multiplied by 6.2 um, so let's see We've got 500 uh, 500 we have 34.8 Add, divide, um, no, I didn't do that right. Okay, 
I have 34.8k and I have 0.5 added to that and then I have another 0.5 uh, divided into that and I have 1 over so we have about uh, times 6.2 we have about 0 0.0878 okay so that's our voltage and uh, we have uh, 0 0.3 ohms we're going to have about 293 milliamps which is just about right. Uh, if I have a, um, a 3000 milliamp hour battery, uh, one tenth of that, that'd be perfect. So we can set our potentiometer about halfway and, and the whole thing will work. The other thing we can do is we can measure what we have now um, and see if we're uh, getting anywhere close to this. All right, so I'm gonna connect a uh, amp meter up to where the battery is going to finally attach and we'll measure the current uh, here and that'll be the charge current uh, that's going to be entering our battery so all we need to do is uh, hook up our uh, our AC power here so put our AC connector on and make sure nothing's shorted out Alright, so we have it in uh, charging mode, and if we come up to the uh, there we go, can you see that? We're measuring 178 milliamps. So, um, sounds great. Uh, we're we can adjust that pod a little bit when we get the batteries to adjust the current that we really want, but uh, that's a great starting point. Uh, everything seems to be working just fine. We just need new batteries.